Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of this Godot farming tutorial series where we are building a farming game using Godot Engine. So before we get started, I just want to say if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, please do so now and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the videos in this tutorial series. So what we're doing today is we're going to just create a little bit of uh, tile maps so that we have something to start with uh, for our game so that we have a bit of a terrain and uh, some grass and some farmlands at least. So what I'm going to do is I've basically opened up a sprite and I've created a 30, well a 16 high, 16 pixels high and 48 pixels wide uh, sprite which we're going to just create some basic tiles and then we'll use an application called tile setter to try and create out some tile sets which we'll use in Godot. So to get started I just want to use a bit of a, a brownish color so that we can create some farmlands or places where we can plant our farm uh, crops. So to start with we'll just do something really basic. We'll just go for a brown color out of our palette here. Uh, so let's just choose something like this and then we'll use this pencil tool and we can just draw out just a little bit of a block here and I'm just going to delete those excess edges here. We don't want that because that's going on to our next tile and I'll just fill it in like this and then we can use the fill tool to actually then fill in the rest like that. Now what we want to do is we want to use the HSV scale to just create some detail. So we'll go over to HSV over here. And then what we'll do is we'll actually shift this to the right on that side to make it a little bit of a different U shift. So I'm going to move it over to this side. And then I'm just going to shift this to the left slightly. And we'll just draw in some little bit of detail with the pencil tool again. And uh, just, just give it a bit of uh, ground detail like this. So I keep it simple. And then we'll just do another U shift again. This time we'll go towards vibrance and then we'll bring this over slightly to the right. So this just creates some variation in our ground. So we'll just add it to random little places just to create some variation. So you'll see it starts to look a little bit like ground now if you do this and it's got that uh, bit of a green tint as well which helps uh, just give it a bit more depth. Next what we'll do is we'll need to create a little bit of an edge which can close it off. So we'll again use this brown color over here and we'll just draw out a bit of an edge. So something like this, something really basic and then I'll fill this in and then we'll also come in with some detail to close it off. So I'm going to just delete this uh, few pixels here just to give it a bit of a rounding edge. Then what I'll do is go over to HSV again and we'll shift this to this side. And this time we'll just shift it to the left a little bit more. And then we'll just start to draw out some extra detail in this little block like that. Fill it in like that and then what we'll do is we'll just do another shift again. So we'll go back to this side and we'll just make it lighter and we'll just draw in some extra detail. So just something like this, something that will repeat. And now we need to actually create a rounded corner from this. So what I'll do is I'll select this like that. And then I'm going to control C, control V this, and we'll rotate this 90 degrees. So something like that. And I'll place it over here to create a corner. Then I'll control C, V again, and then we'll rotate it 90 degrees so that we can place it over here. So now what we want to do is we want to uh, just round it out so that it's, um, See, this is the wrong way around. We want to turn this in this direction. That. And then we want to round out these corners, basically. So we'll zoom in 
and then we'll just go and use this eraser to just kind of round out this corner. So it's a little bit more round rather than this blocky feel. Let's get this roundness to it. And then what we'll do now is we'll bring this over to tile setter and I'll show you how you can use this tile set. So we can just say control A, control C, go into tile setter, just paste it in here. And then what we'll do is we'll just zoom in so you can see. And then on this tile over here, our main tile will right click, go to build borders and you'll see it creates these borders. So we'll go ahead and just assign them. So you'll see the source and we'll assign this over here so that it fills in the border. So I'll just keep doing that for each of these. And then you'll see it's going to be extremely blocky, which we don't want. So for these corners, we'll change to our corner piece. So it'll look a little bit like, uh, that's actually wrong, not that image, we need to change this. So we'll uncheck composite and then you'll click on image over here. So you'll see it's not entirely uh, matching up. So we'll just change this cutoff and you'll see it's a little closer now and left cutoff, we want one pixel as well. So let's just see what that looks like. It sort of lines up, but maybe that little bit of imperfection will make it more interesting. So let's go ahead and do the same on this side, but now we need to flip it on the X and you'll see it rounds it out. So here we'll do the same and we'll this time flip it on the Y and we just need to make sure our cutoff is not an issue. And then again on this one, the same thing and we'll flip it on the X and on the Y and make sure our cutoff isn't an issue. So let's just have a look here at what we can do to maybe line this up a little bit better. So I think this is because of imperfections in how I drew these, but that's fine. Actually, it might actually have a nice effect uh, looking like this. So let's play around with this and see what it looks like. So you can go and click on this middle piece and you can click on these little blocks over here to go to auto tile. And then over here, you'll paint with this. So how does this look? It looks pretty decent, I think. And uh, this will basically be our farmlands where we will plant our uh, various seeds, which can grow. So that's great. Let's now go ahead and create a few more of these. So I'm gonna use a new layer for this. So I'll just go and create a new layer over here. And then we can basically switch into that layer, just disable this one. And now we can actually go and edit this one. So what we want to do now is just create a bit of a base uh, sand tile, which we can use. So for that, I'm just going to choose one of these uh, variations of yellow for sand. So we'll then again do the same process where we draw this in like so. And then I'll fill it in with the fill tool. So use the fill tool and fill it in. So now we'll do again uh, some U shifts. This time we're going to make a little bit of uh, bigger uh, shades so that it looks a bit more like uh, sand. And then we'll blur it out just to make it a little cleaner. So here I'll just go to the left and I'll change this to a slightly darker color. And I don't want to fill, I want to use the pencil tool again. So we'll just draw like little masses like this, something like that. And then we'll do another U shift to this side and we'll go and change this to a darker color. And we'll just bring in some detail on these sprites. Just give it a bit of variation, just make it a bit more interesting. And then what we'll do is we'll use this contour or actually it's this blur tool and then we'll just blur it slightly so that it has a different look. And I'm just going to up the intensity a little so that we get a bit more blur. So it'll look a little like that and maybe this is a bit too dark. So we'll just go a little lighter until it's more blended like that. So next we're going to go ahead and create a Let's just see what's going on here. We managed to blur it outside of our 
tile size. So let's just check if we select this, it should actually be up until there. So that's 16 by 16. So I'm just gonna make sure that this color is consistent. Otherwise it's not gonna look very good when we tile it. So we'll just use this eyedropper, get this color, and then we'll just fill it in with that color over here. There we go. Now what we'll do is we'll create another corner piece again, which will basically fill in our border. And then again, we'll create another corner piece over here, which we can use. So again, I'm just going to start off with that base color, which is this one. And we'll just draw out some shapes, something like this, so that we have a corner piece. And then we'll go and fill it in. Fill it in like that. And then we'll again just do some U shifting. So HSV. And I'll just move it slightly to the left. And I'll just make it darker. And then we can fill this in again. So something like that. And then we'll start again with another U shift to this side. And we'll make it more vibrant. Something of that sort. And then I just want to make this a little bit more yellow because it doesn't have enough of this yellow in it. So we'll just go ahead and select this and we'll just put in more yellow in general, this uh, colors, something like that. And I'm actually going to just take a different shade of yellow now rather to fill in the rest because it doesn't look right to me. So a lot of this artwork you need to play around with. So I'm just going to go more towards the yellows and I'm going to play with this darkness. And then we'll just go and fill this in. Something like this. And then I think we're going to do a few more shades of these because uh, this doesn't look right. So we'll then go and shift this more towards the dark end. And then fill in we can like that. So I think that's fine. That'll work for now. It's going to fade out to a greenish color. Then uh, what we'll do is we'll just grab this and we'll go ahead and copy it out just like we did with the previous one. And we'll do that. And then we'll paste it again and rotate this in the right direction. Okay, move that in there. And then again, we'll round it out by zooming in using our eraser and then just getting rid of excess pixels which are going to make this not look round enough so something like that and then we'll basically go ahead and follow the same process again of copying this into tile setter and generating a tile map so here we are so what you want to do is just move this over slightly to the left paste it in there and you want to go ahead and generate a build borders like that. And then again, assign these items. So I'll assign them all. Uh, that's the wrong one. I keep choosing the wrong one, but make sure to choose the source. Make that one the source. And the source. That one over there, and then what we'll do is we'll do the corners again. Okay. And another corner. And we'll do that flip X, flip Y, flip Y like that. And then we'll create the other corners. Okay, and then finally this one over here. Flip X, flip Y. Uh, so flip Y and it's right now. Okay, select the middle one and then let's start drawing. So let's draw on this same little area here. And actually what I'll do is I'll fill this all in and then we'll come over it with our uh, ground tile Let's fill this all in and let's now go back to our ground tile, which is over here. 
and now we can actually go and fill this in. So create these uh, farmlands where we'll farm our little items. So basically guys, that's how you can create tile sets. In the next tutorial, we'll start uh, bringing this into Godot and then we'll start creating an auto tile, tile set which allows us to then go and paint this in Godot itself and then we can start building out our game. For other tile sets, uh, you can just go ahead and use a sprite and tile setter to try and create your own tile sets like this. And then from there, you can then build out your map for your game. So guys, I hope this has been useful. If it has been, please like below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It really does help the channel. It does help me create more videos like this. And thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.